Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. What's going on, everybody? Brett. What's up? And our friend Kyle, host of the Strat Chat podcast. What's going on, Kyle? Hi, hello, and good day. Uh, we'll make sure to do a nice plug of the Strat Chat pod here at the end. We'll have all the links and stuff here in the description. But as you can see here in the title and the thumbnail, we're here to talk Survivor 45. This is episode six. I'm not Batman, I'm the Canadian. Um, <laughs> This was merge week, guys. We saw it uh, teased in the preview last week, uh, but it's crazy to say that it wasn't the biggest event of the week, which was awesome to see. We had a big surprise that um, I think, guys, I think if you disagree, let me know, but I think it may be worth kind of talking about the end first here. What do you think? Completely agree. Uh, we had the normal type of, at least normal with new Survivor, merge week. There is going to be a challenge where the teams get randomly split up. There's someone left out. They have to pick which side they think is going to win. They go for it. We do go through all that, and we will highlight the specific players when we go back and run through actually what happened here. But we get to Tribal Council, and basically the idea is that Caleb is the main target here. Caleb has been a very social player. Caleb has been a great player. He has survived a lot of you know tribal councils, obviously. And for everything how it's been shown was going to be a positive for him. However, it looks that there is going to be a um, easy vote for him. It seems that there's really no reason to not take him out as far as all the conversations that we are led to see. Um, and that leads to Caleb playing his shot in the dark. And the shot in the dark is successful. Caleb survives a unanimous vote and moves on. There is a second vote, a crazy scramble. Jay Maya is highlighted heavily as pushing for Emily. However, when we get the vote and it's revealed that Jay Maya was the one eliminated. So I know that's a lot there. I want to have you guys do your full reaction. So Brett, um, I'll start with you. And then we'll just go around the horn. How do you feel about how this all broke down? The strategy? Do you think this was a smart decision? Obviously, what do you think the Caleb thing was smart? And do you think it was smart for the second vote? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I I was actually a little shocked that they wanted to target Caleb this early. Obviously, he's a threat. We all know that. I thought that he would at least have a little bit more time in the game before they target him, but apparently not. I really thought they were going to go the J. Maya route and just sacrifice a red. Um, in order to like try to pull Emily onto their side and maybe even Caleb at that point. But uh, the moment that it seemed like it was going towards Caleb, I was like, he's put, or when he played the shot in the dark, I was like, in my gut, I'm like, he's going to get safe. He's going to get it. No one's got it before it's season 45. We've seen several of these. I think he's going to get the safe. And then at that point, once, once he did, and once it happened, I knew J Maya <laughs> SOL. Yeah, Kyle, you can go. All right. Um, I don't know. This shot in the dark. First of all, I, I don't like the shot in the dark twist. I think I think it's bollocks. Okay. And like, <laughs> and in this situation, like bollocks. I was even more like put off because like I'm happy to not see Caleb go, but like, you know, I'm always looking for those moments where I feel like production may have manipulated something. And like, there is just the way that this whole thing is being edited with like Caleb's story and his entire arc, um, the way that things have been going with Emily, it's almost like production knew like, hey, listen, we got to make sure that all of his shots in the darks are safe. Because like, we're not, we're not going to allow this man to go because this is part of our storyline. This is what we're building. Um, so when you look at it from that lens, it's like, it, it's, it's a little difficult to kind of digest this one. Like the one time the shot in the dark is successful, it's during a unanimous vote. Like, I don't know, it just all feels too perfect. Um, so I was a little put off by that. Um, I will agree with Brett that I definitely do think it was a little early to making a move against Caleb. I didn't think that would be happening just yet, but it doesn't surprise me that his name is, at the forefront of people's minds, you know, cause he definitely was having all of these one-on-ones with so many different people. And if you're sitting back and you're watching that, not that I'm a Bruce fan, okay. But Bruce, at least the edit told us that Bruce was the first one to clock that. 
so like watching him say like listen ain't nobody talking to me ain't nobody talking to me and like and, and he was having all these one-on-ones with me but he's not talking to me too like certainly a lot of validity to that i certainly understand why he was public enemy number one and like but i don't know I, I wonder if because <laughs> the the tribe was split and then you only had half the people you can vote for, maybe that's why Caleb became more of a target mm. than he was. I personally hate a lot of the new things that are in New Survivor. I don't like Shot in the Dark. I really despise, truly despise this pre-merge week bullshit where we need to I pick a side. I, I hate that mer- shit. Mer- Mergatory, as yes, people like so to much. call it. It's I so, think it's so you done. Did you merge or you didn't? You need, to earn, earn, like- you need to earn to the merge and I, I think it's so dumb i, I can't stand mm-hmm. it but um yeah I, I i i can see what you're saying kyle that it is the like it seems fishy but i think it is one out of six and i think this might be like the fifth or sixth time it's been used so i mean odds are that it's gonna hit it's just funny that it hit here i i That's i kind of i kind of understand kyle shenanigans but. uh brian you know i was texting you while we were kind of watching this and we were watching love island and something i'm like we're at tribal council. Yeah. There's still over 20 minutes left. Yeah, that's Some the, bullshit's that's gonna the... happen, right? And then they went through like a decent normal length conversation. And then as soon as he said he was playing it, I almost texted Brian, but I didn't know like I thought he was a few minutes behind me. I'm like, oh, he's getting it. Like it's just it just was it was yeah, edited very much to show like this was gonna happen, and we were set up for anarchy. And, you know, look, I, I liked it. Look, at the end of the day, I I, I don't love all the... I, I, the shot in the dark to me isn't too egregious. The shot in the dark is crazier to me when it's combined with the fact that, like, I have to keep, like, a spreadsheet right now of who has what idols and what yeah. stage in their embryo they are, you know, how far along and what power it has. And some of them last till a certain amount, like, five people. Someone else has one that's still six people. Yeah, that yeah, that to me is where I get I it shouldn't be yeah. that much uh, you have to track. But again, that I don't have a crazy problem with the shot in the dark itself. It was entertaining TV to me. I I popped when it happened. So I yeah, think I mean, it was more BS that they took the shot in the dark away from the second revote because that would have been interesting. Yeah, people that, start yes. throwing away their vote. Be like, oh, screw it, shot in the dark. I don't care. Like because. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, it was because it was what the vote was Jay versus Emily, which I mean, I really do feel bad for Jay in this instance, but she was already on the bottom. But like the fact that she was like, oh, Caleb just pulled this other hat trick out. His only like number one ally is Emily. Just take her out, too. I, I do agree or that she was smart to go for Emily and basically think red and blue might might jump on board with that idea. And it just it didn't work out for her. But I just wish that that vote wasn't basically unanimous. I, w- I wanted to have like a little more drama of like maybe it got down to like like four three or like what I don't remember what happened. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's just like it's just all right. We see Emily once and then it's like Jay Jay Jay. It's like all right. Well, we know this where this is going. But all right, I, you made a good point there. I, I, I what'd you say? A survivors becoming like Big Brother, where, where they all like lock uh, in. They're uh, all going to unanimously brutal. vote in one it's way. So, so brutal. It's so together. boring. <laughs> like um, like Emily. Like Emily even through her vote boy so the like what you made it what i want to bring up of what you said about the shine of the dark and then jeff's just like oh by the way you can't do this and it's like says who jeff like <laughs> says who, jeff? like what do you mean like you, you, that there, there's no way that's written somewhere that that like he just made that up like <laughs> just like they made up who. the shot in the dark today like kyle said there was none in there that said not safe right yeah this is my email address <laughs> i want you to send me the handball <laughs> I want to see the updated Survivor handbook. I want to see all the terms and conditions. Every single one. Cool. Pictures of the other cards that say not safe. <laughs> right. This is like, yes. I mean, yeah, speaking of so all that, see. whenever you're ready, I'd love. Whenever you're ready, I'd love to audible over to Bruce's idol. No, go for it. Yeah, that's actually what I had at the top of the list. So go for it. Yeah, I mean, so that was the beginning of the episode, right? So basically, Bruce. Bruce and the crew, they're all looking where Caleb told them. It's the same place, I guess, the bias was. But I, I rewatched it multiple times. It almost looks like Bruce. He's just like, la, 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 la. Going right there, boom, zones, z- zooms in. He smacks something that's actually not even blocking the idol or the clue. He grabs it. He gets it. He does like a fake. It looks like he's, it looks like he knew it was there, sort of, when he reacts. 
plus I guess the next step is he has to go get it from his shelter where it's still more like Bruce just digging and digging. And then once he gets it, boom, it's an idol. This last till final five or six, it's not even like, it doesn't have any of the stipulations that Austin's still has through this episode where he has to still sacrifice a vote. Same with, I think, I don't remember if Sabaya read the rules on hers, but she, they both had to like sacrifice votes in order to get a full idol. Whereas Bruce, this idol he finds, it's already a full it's idol. It's already activated. So yeah. Just like, yeah. And how about like where it's like, oh, by the way, you need, leave, you need to leave your tribe in 10 minutes. And he's like, well, what I did is I pointed up and I looked at the top of the shelter and I just dug straight down and I found it. And I was like, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. Bruce sucks. Right, I agree. It was like, very it, easy. It was very slick. He was just like, da, 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 da. it's right there. Like, it wasn't like he was like, scr- like scrummaging at all. He took his hand, went down and reached and like grabbed it between like, I don't know if it was like bamboo and like a branch or something, but it was in between something and he grabs it. You know what I mean? It wasn't yeah. out in the you, open. You remember when like Russell Hans was literally like fisting trees to get up in there to find idols. And now they're just laid out with little bows tied on a little string on a, on a branch. And they just all yeah. pretty. Yeah. They just, I hate the, it. Guys. The roots of the tree look like, like look like this and the idols just like chilling here. Yeah. And right. He's just like, Oh, Oh, there, it is. there it is. Off. No oh, one else there saw it. Is. Oh, oh, oh so brilliant. Yeah, oh, there was like, one I remember where, like, I think it was Yao Man or <laughs> a young man, Yao Man or one of those, um, one of the, I don't remember his name, but like he had to like build like a shoot to like knock it out of a, like a trap up on the tree. Like, they, where's that stuff? Like, you're telling me that the, all, it just says beware it's now. Why did they think? Just no way. I hate it, guys. Brian's, I hate it. Brian's line is like, I got hers out of a tree. Where are my survivor gone? <laughs> Right. Yeah. And as then, long as we're talking about things that we hate, um, I know I missed last week, but like this amulet thing, fucking horse shit. <laughs> like I, I, I'm also sick of those things. I don't want these. Uh, I need participation in order for my powers to have power. Like that's it's like ridiculous. Like if yeah. I if I got to something and I earned it, that's it. Like oh, I have this amulet. It means one thing now, but if another person leaves, like oh, now it means something else. Yeah. And if yeah. another person leaves, now it means even more. Um, and all of this over like the real debacle was over that or sandwiches sad ass like gas station sandwiches <laughs> like there was no meat on those sandies <laughs> like what was that like just Austin started milk, sandwich work. mayo oh. sandwiches dude uh, and he's like and the it, punisher he's got a list yeah <laughs> exactly and, love, and it's uh, still uh, noteworthy because he's still so salty over not getting these sandwiches whatever, it's like there was no sauce in them. it was just all bread and like veggies <laughs> <laughs> like he's like Arya. He's got a list too. <laughs> Austin's being really petty about trying to target uh, the people that denied him a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't 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 leave out, me. Out. Don't do that. One out, one to go. <laughs> don't do that. Um. Yeah. I mean, we did get a little bit of Emily and Bruce. They are obviously not going to be friends. That was confirmed. They made up on the surface but they both in their confessionals especially bruce's was like absolutely i'm not. coming for you <laughs> yeah well bruce, bruce sucks i think i also said that like five minutes ago but bruce does suck i i meant to say that last week also i started really disliking bruce and this week confirmed it bruce sucks mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. my concern though is that like sorry bruce if you're listening i feel like bruce is not <laughs> Bruce is a little bit more inside than Katora is. And I feel like some of this Bruce slander might actually start to work against her. It'll be interesting to see how that kind of plays along. But like this episode suggested to me that people weren't exactly following behind her with the distaste of Bruce. So it'd be interesting to kind of see how that goes. He hasn't really started with a lot of people, at least in the merge, right? He might have been getting on people's nerves in his tribe before. He's Mm -hmm. a little bossy, Mm -hmm. et cetera. He does have that conversation with Caleb where he's like, basically, hey, I can't take a leadership position because you're talking to so many people and being friendly. It wasn't a little. <laughs> that's where I kind of was a little bit over Bruce when like, I don't mind that <laughs> him want to be bossy, but when you're actually going to someone saying, I have a problem with you because I can't be so number popular. one because you're here. <laughs> yeah, he's basically like with nerd. Jax. He's yeah, he's Jax Taylor one, saying, I'm the number one guy in the group. <laughs> Uh, yeah. but I, I agree. I, yeah. I, I want to see. I mean, Bruce also, Bruce refers to himself as a celebrity, which you know, I don't know. 
than calling yourself an entrepreneur. Right. <laughs> These words are getting used a little bit too loosely for my liking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Couture was mad at him because he was being goofy and stuff, which I didn't have a problem with that. But I think some of his, like this episode, he's been really bossy and he was getting mad that nobody was talking to him. I just thought he was being, he was just not someone you want to work with. And, Is Kendra um, the one well, who's I mean, going crazy about the fish? Who? Kendra is that her name? But from yeah, from Bella, the one that mm-hmm. was like the one left out of the vote. Yeah, and like they had fish, and she started going like crazy. She says she's going to start being petty, Kendra, going forward. She's going to go after. Uh, she wants revenge on Emily. So Emily's got some. There are people going. What did Emily, Emily do to her? She's just mad that she was left out of the of the of the vote, and she blames it on oh, Emily. Brando she thinks though. Emily snitched him out, and that's why that Brando was gone. Brando left. Uh, oh, all right, she's a bad which Brando. is true, but I mean, whatever. I mean, that was her prerogative to pick a side. She picked yeah, a side. you know what? If people start that's hating each other, it game. might make the show better. Honestly, like I want to see some people put anger. I want to see like people get Kendra so always fed looks up crazy. with people. Yeah, she's mad all Kendra. the time. I love Kendra. I like her too, but she's always mad. Yeah, she, she, got the, it, like, she got those wild eyes for that fish, man. She was just like, who? who? She, she reminds like, me Car- Carolyn. Great she was faces. doing like Carolyn stuff from last season. Yes, she is. Yeah, she's like crazy. the eyes of like. The, I think like, she's funnier than. Carolyn. When she makes those eyes, it reminds me of like the little devil partners from like Hades and Hercules. Like, oh, like, uh, oh, Pain and eyes. Panic. Yeah, their eyes. Yeah, that's, that's what she reminds me of. Great movie, by the way. Glad uh, Hercules, yeah. Probably one of my favorite Disney movies. Oh, facts. Facts. Great oh. soundtrack. Everything. My wife will can attest way that. better than Survivor. Way my better. wife attests that Hercules is like my favorite Disney animated movie. Yeah, so. I'd have to say that too, I think. But I, I'd like I, to see a live action of it. That Kyle, is okay. what about you? Well, I, I'm gonna be honest with them and break everybody's hearts. I have not seen Hercules in its entirety. I will say oh. that. Um, but hands down, the best Disney film. Like I don't even need to see anybody's Hercules. Hands down, the best Disney film is The Lion King. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I, I mean, okay, whatever. Like, whatever. come on, The I Lion mean, it's, King. It's a fine movie, but I mean, it's everyone's favorite. Then everyone's right. <sighs> you like you like your white toast and your <laughs> yeah. I like Pocahontas cheeseburger. A Pocahontas. I oh, nice, nice, nice. Some good songs in that. There's some good songs in that movie too. Savages, savages, yeah, yeah, barely, barely even human. human. Now we sound the drums. That is war. definitely like I was listening to a podcast. I, I, we're really going on tangent here, but they're like that. That song couldn't be made today. No, but I remember I was singing. Theater, I was like, the, the beat is animated. like musket. The beat is musket fire. The beat is like musket fire and and like stuff like that. God, I know this, it's a great song though. It's a good song. It is a good song. It is. It's not better than be prepared though. Is there any villain song that is better than Be Prepared? Like, come on. When the hyenas come in. I can't think I'm of one get, right now. I know that you're proud of retention. No, no, no. no. It's like, yeah, I mean, again, it, it, it's an easy pick, but we're just, we're. we're yeah, I don't like, yeah, obviously, like, I like those movies, but I like it. You should have almost said you can't pick cuts. Lion King. And then so you're, Do you like yeah. Oliver and Company? I don't dislike Oliver and Oh, man, that has good songs, too, man. That has good music. <laughs> It does. It does. I don't dislike it. It does. But so does Princess and the Frog. I've never seen that one. I'm um, on. Oh, oh, how dare you? I, I that's a newer one, though. Song. That's a newer one. It's not that. I think new. Mulan it's has not that, that new. Oh, Mulan, Mulan is great. another Mulan, good one. Mulan yeah, is, is a top three good you. ones. Mulan is good. Nightmare Mulan Before good. Christmas is Disney animated, technically. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something, man. Not for oh. me. I'll make a movie. You don't know, like Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, not for me, dog. Not for me. Though. I saw it when There's I was no like Randy Jackson. Like, this is, <laughs> like I think I saw it when I, the first time I saw it, I was 25, and I was like, "Nah, man, I don't." I don't you get saw it when you were 25. What happened when you were like 12? I was watching Hercules. No, but, but, then, but then you would see it the same channel. I was watching Grinch, man. I'm a Grinch dude. I yeah, but that's not Grinch. Disney. No, but Doctor Seuss is everything. I mean, right. I like Dr. Seuss. Because I got to tell you, Horton did hear a Who, all right? And he heard it fantastically. Mm-hmm. 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 I love Dr. Seuss, okay? So where are am we I, Am I keeping all this? Or... Yeah, you keep it. I don't right. Um <laughs> Listen, I thought overall it was a good week of Survivor. Um, Jay Maya is out. We highlighted at the top. Mm-hmm. That's sometimes how it goes. 
production the, wanted <laughs> wanted the shot in the dark to work and somebody had to go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> Sometimes you yeah, win, sometimes rigged, you right? lose. Everyone today, it really, it really was taking when, the L. Yeah, when Jeff said with emphasis that you can't play Sean Dark End, that's when it became fishy. If he let it go, then it's like a little. He was ready for fishy. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's 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 the, what's the producer's name? Mark. Mark Burnett. Mark, Mark Burnett. Burnett in his ears, like, "Yo, Jeff, Jeff, shut down, shut down, no more Sean the Dark." No, 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 can't do it again. No, no idols either. <laughs> <laughs> oh but um yeah i think again I, I i've I've enjoyed this season but I, I overall like i have not i mean we haven't liked some of the the quitting and stuff but overall i thought we've been getting good episodes and i again this could be a correction on production's part right because of some of the crap that was happening that they needed to maybe swing it the other way so has anybody checked on jack too like the guys fainted twice no brian they're gonna let him die there <laughs> Fine, he's fine. He's, <laughs> he's, fine. he's fine. He's fine. He performed well in the challenge. Um, yeah, we'll be back next. If he week. dies, he dies. Oh well. He, oh, Ivan Drago. Oh, um, we're gonna be back next week. We are covering everything now. CBS reality. We are doing um Amazing Race. Kyle was on there. We are doing Big Brother. Brett's got that covered. Um, also doing Brett's also doing the challenge. We are doing things like the Golden Bachelor, the Bachelor. House of Villains. We're doing Bravo shows like Winter House and Southern Charm. Um, Love Island. Love Island. Yeah, games premiered. We have that video already out. Uh, Brian's doing the Love Island Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle, what about Strat Chat? What do you guys have going on? Strat Chat is live on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, we are doing Big Brother 25, obviously. That's our bread and butter. Um, we are doing Survivor 45. That's on Mondays. Um, and we are obviously doing the Challenge 39. Um, we've moved that to Thursdays, though, we think. We're trying that out. There's too yes. much happening on Mondays. Yeah, we're trying to like move things cool. around and like lessen the load. But we are live like each time. So yeah, find us on the socials at Stretch Chat Pod and come Hop in the chat and get in the conversation. We have a good time. What about like, um, who framed Roger Rabbit? Fine movie. I was scared of it when I was younger. It's a good movie. I don't remember Roger Rabbit. What? The I, it, is that like Jessica Rabbit? Right with the with yeah, Jessica dress. Rabbit. Yeah, I remember yeah, her. Yeah. This is yeah. very, you know, very sexy. Like that's the most <laughs> I remember about Mr. Roger. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, Kyle, big brother finale coming up in two weeks. So yeah. Yeah. Thank we God. We're, we're a little done. We're a little done. This, this, this has kind of been like a, a drag <laughs> to get to this finale, but like, we're not going to drop it. It's a, we love big brother in this house. Well, oh, in my we house. appreciate you hopping on this amazing race. We'll see you next week. Obviously. Yeah, uh, thank you everyone me. again, subscribe here, TikTok, and make sure you check out the strat chat pod, but for myself, Brian, Brett and Kyle. Thank you. Peace. Thank you.